Lee? Hey, it's Kirk. How's things, my chum? Chum? <laughs> sure you don't got the wrong number? Seem to recall the last time I saw your face, it had my fist planted in it. Ah, you know, what's past is past. What's more important is the sweet gig I got you. Quick and easy buck. Swing by the coyote and I'll tell you about it. First round's on me. Well, what do you say? Yeah, fine. See you there. Same old V. I always said you were smart. You say a lot of things, Kirk. Pure bullshit included. Oh, no, V. Not this time. This time, everything's just like it's supposed to be. Best not stall too long on this one. Later. Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth. My wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. Perales. <laughs> the one running for mayor of Night City. The one? So the one who was DA until recently but just vaulted into a seat on the city council. I gather you now understand why discretion is of the utmost importance. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Ryan a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber-psycho attack. And claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber-psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain, too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG.
Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse apps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. The terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch is no accident. Nah. Seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah. But it could've. Could've chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly-ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Well, well, well. Do it after the conference. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butt. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune. What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Rather than jump to any everything all right? There's not much to go on. Still too early to say. Sure, sure. Any questions at this point? Conference. Why was it held? 
For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> Maybe that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop at Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Mayor's Hustle. The NCPD? No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. I wonder why. You're not a cop. Those with respiratory issues are advised. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging, got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about? The River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hun. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Don't make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hans not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hans not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. He wanted to talk. For the attack, he wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. 
Get some info, dude. What was it? You know what? Mom was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Hey, you there? Yes, I'm talking to you. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because you got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. Just not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> Who would? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Then no, but even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberPsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Christine Markov. No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tech over on the other side. You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. 
then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Peta, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scabs on scabs here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an A-B, fly a fucking slim ass out of here. Hater showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. These, uh, speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A uh, madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, Somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Here's my offer. Get the fuck out of here, and I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of Mayor Rhine. And wash your fucking wheels, pig. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? Gonna ride with me? Sure, I'll ride with you. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. 
I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. Who is this guy? A proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then. Looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club. Ray Queen's Race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Clouds in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address, means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. No! Said I was done! I was out! Leave the fuck alone, all of you! Fuck! Hey, Neil! Piss off! Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Rest assured, nobody will find out you talk to us. And this will truly be the last time Detective Ward will visit you. Isn't that right, Detective? Right. I swear it on the spirits of my ancestors. All we want is the courts for Red Queen's race. All right. But this is the last time, for real. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. They got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Sure. Thanks. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me.
like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Weird. Tell him you gotta hump. Hey. Okay. Got spotted! Okay. Hang on, be right there. Cover up. Whatever it was that went down. What are you looking for? Great fuck! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't cool! What oh. the fucker! <laughs> I got to do the talking. You're the detective. But I don't have a... A warrant. Right. What?
Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it for fucking waiting! For what? Till they send us to scratch for a job well done! Smashed it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit! Time for the pay up! Who'd you smash it up for? Uh, what's it to you? Oh, I might be able to speed up your payment. The fuck I look like to you? Someone who'd swallow scop like that? Ugh, I think I know who it is. That gonk burned me, too. Anyway, digging for dirt on him. I get him. You'll get what you're owed. First, I gotta know we're talking about the same ass munch. Well, didn't hold! Lucius Ryan's right-hand bull terrier. Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Right fucking for the job! Thanks for the help. Action back there. No problem. You feeling okay? <sighs> I'll live. What was that, V? You asked me. One heart attack that killed Ryan. Yeah, as I said from the start. But <laughs> someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. Think you could be right. Come on, V. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V, I'm not in the mood for jokes. I think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. 
Okay, let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. Still hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear, you can sleep tight at night. You know why? Cause I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Hey, don't drag me into this. I don't do politics or NCPD inner squabbles. Yeah, so what do you do? Let me guess. Whatever brings in the ads, huh? It's typical. Well, I'm not surprised, but I'm not judging either. Looking for a path and place in this damn city. All of us. Yeah, looking for a path and a place, that's right. Great. We understand each other. V, appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> so, what now? Won't well, let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. Oldest, tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. Only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay, observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting.
Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. Chill on the drama. My role in this ends here. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But... Yeah, I got some idea. It was an accident. Embarrassing one. Ryan died at his sex club. It's probably too much for him. Nobody there helping him? To leave this world? Vacate his seat? You ask me, no. What a relief. Well, that's good to know. So why'd they lie? Ah, uh, never mind. Don't answer. I know why. Dull death, dull case. But my wife's right. We will sleep better. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. We shouldn't delay too long. Glad I could help. <laughs> 